Yo, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Untouched Radio Show, the Untouched Podcast on Untouched Live. I'm B Easy, better known as Easy, and I'm here with another episode and a very, very special guest. I got Swelly in the building, y'all. What's up, man? You know the vibes. Well, nah. Like I said, man, long time coming, man. Facts, bro. We've been trying to put it together, but we finally here, though. You heard? Yo, it takes a long time when you got two kings that's on the grind. You yeah. feel me? We just building, bro. And, yeah. you know, building is important. I feel like everybody but the black culture, not to get into all that, so I feel like everybody but the black culture could really sit down and put it together and put right. their pride aside and try to uplift each other and go get some money. Right. I feel like we're the only people who got problems with Well, that. bro, you know what I think it is, though? I think it's deep-rooted, bro. I think uh, it was designed that way. Yeah. Because once we figure out how powerful we are when the minds come together. Yeah, because I, this country was built on us, bro. And and, and what's tough, what, what they always say, like, and what's really true saying, they say, we can't love each other or love the world until we love ourselves. Facts, bro. So sometimes... It's a little tough because it's easy to hate somebody next to you when you got self hate. Right. It's easy for me to look at you and be like, "Fuck you." Yo, you know it's, it's that love misery myself, love that misery yeah, loves company it's easy shit. They for talk you to about. look at me and be like, "Fuck, Swelly, I don't fuck yeah. that nigga." Right. Know what I mean? And you um, got that in your heart. Yeah. Know what I mean? If if you feel like that about yourself. Right. Right. So a lot of the times, um, we feel a lot of ways about ourselves and we don't check that. Um, and going back to what I'm saying about that, when we do feel ways about ourselves, going to check what's going on, that don't mean you weak. Right. That means you're trying to fix yourself. That's it. You don't want to build no traumas outside of yourself that you don't have to have. Mm-hmm. My pops didn't get elevators. That shit made me not get elevators. My pops then make me. My pops then fly. That shit made me not fly. And because mm-hmm. I looked at him as a superhero, mm-hmm. it's a lot of shit that he didn't do, that it started to scare me. Mm-hmm. And then my sister asked me one day. She was like, "Swelly," she was like, "You gonna do this music thing, right?" And I'm like, "Yeah." And she's like, "So if you gonna do this music thing, be all around the world. Fly, you gonna have to fly, bro. exactly." That's and I'm gonna like, "Have to have." And I'm like, "What you mean?" She's like, "And I'm a kid." I'm like, yeah. "What you mean?" And she's like. You got to fly in it. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to. She's like, you can't drive everywhere. That's not the way this thing nah, goes. that's not. You got to fly. And then she told me, like, this is our dad, and we love our dad, and I love our dad, too. But don't let him project his fears on you. Right. Like, whatever whatever he then do, he will want you to be better than him. Oh, yeah. That's how it's designed, So bro. break built those habits. Now my pops, he going on the train. He's still, I ain't flying. I ain't. Yeah. But my son and my daughter. Yeah. They all around the all world. Over the place. Swelly over here. I love that. Da, 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 my I love daughter, that. My, she in the country every year. I love that. Now me and she, she my helped me My mom was that. like that too, yeah. geez. I'm not even going to lie, bro. Yeah. She never liked to fly, yeah, ever. Facts. Like, so like, that was the whole thing. Like, I'm not flying. So I was, had a little phobia of flying, mm-hmm. but I'm glad I got over that because That's now That's it how... changed the game, bro. Mm-hmm. Like I, I like to drive, but I don't love to drive. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I love to get to where I need to go in a few hours. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And mm-hmm. Yeah, the, the, the flights is crazy. And shout out to your pops, man. Yeah. I know you said you mentioned, you know, him as your superhero, bro. Yeah, you know shout what I'm out. Saying? Yeah, shout out to my pops, big lady. You know, my pops was a um, not was he is a good. Real far, he took custody of me and my sister early, and um, he handled this business. That's dope. Um, and he was in the streets and he was doing everything, but he said, "Yo, y'all saved me and y'all changed my life." That's dope. Because when I had jobs, when I grew up, and I stopped everything I was right. doing, so I just appreciate my pops. Like we talk a lot, we talk about everything. Mm-hmm. He just give me advice. Right now, I'm a grown man, so he don't tell me what to do. He just yeah, 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 he just yeah. give is me he advice. From, is he from the me? He just yo, I right, nigga, I gave you everything. Now it's up to you what you do with it. Copy, if you copy. Got, if you gonna bump your head, you gonna bump your head. Facts. I'm gonna be there for you though. Facts, I'm facts. gonna always be there for you, but I'm gonna let you. You know, sometimes you gotta jump in that water to see if it's deep. Or sometimes you might not have to jump in that water. But right. he trusts that everything he gave me that I'm gonna make the right decision with it. And right now, I, I've been doing all right. 
That's what's up. You, I, I've been doing That's all right, bro. I ain't going to lie, man. Shit, like, you know, sometimes they get rough. Sometimes I got to get on the phone and talk to them. Sometimes I'm there. Yeah. I ain't going to tell you no lie. Sometimes, yo. Are you I, the I, older sibling? Nah, I'm I'm the second youngest. Oh, okay. okay. So it's it's six of us, and I'm the okay, second youngest. Copy, copy. Out uh, after my baby sister, not me. I'm I'm the second youngest. So gotcha. sometimes I'm I'm still high headed a little yeah, bit. Yeah, sure, sure. And he be like, "Yo, listen, man, nigga, you work too hard. If you let niggas trick you to throw everything away you work for, nigga, you the fool." <sighs> like, but it's it's a my pop thing about that. He like, you know how Hov give you that game, make you feel yeah. like if you're in the projects. He calm about it. If you're in the projects, Hov will come and be like, what Pro said, I don't, Hov said, I don't be in the project always talk about I'll be in the project all day. Yeah. yeah. That sounds right. stupid to me. If you're a gangster, this is how you prove it to me. Hmm? Hov saying about if you're a gangster, you prove it to me like this, take care of yeah. your family. Right. I'm not going to sit up in the Jets all day and nah. say, nigga, oh, I'm here, come. Nah. Hover make you feel the worst yeah, of the do. worst. Like yeah, he do. that's why he's one of my favorites. My pop, if not not my yeah, favorite. He's yeah. my favorite as an artist, bro. Yeah, my pops is like that. He he won't make you, but he'll make you be like nigga. You doing some silly shit. Yeah, use this. He check you. He check you. Got to train away. your mind to be stronger than your heart. Speaking of childhood, like yeah. where, where where you from, bro? Like like let the people know, like yeah. where where it all started. Uh, well, so it started in Soundview Projects, man. Cow. You know, like, like I was telling you, we from yeah. We from P Block, Pistol P, um, free him, free the yes. biggest gun. Yes, free that's where that we man. from. Free, free, that free Pistol P, man. Um, Kimber Walker from our block. Hey. Uh, Will Tracks, Lord Tyreek, mm. L Train, mm-hmm. Swelly Gifted, Swelly, <laughs> Blaze Gifted. Yeah, uh, it, it, we got Rico G's. Yeah, yeah. Cousin, we got a lot of. Uh, I wanna um I wanna keep it like I wanna keep it tall like I Sound we got a lot of talent. That's what's up. Nah I mean so I don't wanna just but Sound we got a lot of talent and a lot of like we come from we come from a um a tough neighborhood too where it's like It's hard to make it out of there. It, it's hard to make it out of there and when you come outside you gotta tie your shoes and you gotta make sure them shits is tight. Cause you ain't gonna really last, bro, if you don't carry yourself a certain type of way. Right. That shit is like what they say, um, it's the predator and the prey. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what that is. And they can sense the weakness. Yeah, and they can sense the weakness. So if yeah. you don't come in, you don't if you don't tie your shoes tight, mm-hmm. it's gonna be a rough ride for you. Nah, real shit. But thank God that again I had a pops that he said nigga, my pops I'm small, pause. But my pops is like um he's like six too, my pops a, a big like pause, mm-hmm. but anyways he was like nigga you better not be afraid of nobody but me. Like Real shit. <laughs> we come from a family where yeah, there were most principles we stand on business yeah. we don't let win lose a draw yeah you let a nigga know you not with nothing yeah. and you here and you here and I mean and nah, also pops too, and also it was kind of like. If you ain't got a, like, certain shit, you could avoid. Like, I'm about to say this now. If if I know you, uh, like, somebody, and you get on my nerve, the stage I'm at now, because I know how things can get, I just get away from you. Right. Ah, right, you trying to make me, I'm going over here. I'm right. getting away from you, bro. Fact. See, when we young, you just make a decision. And, but when you get older and you realize you could lose everything behind that one decision, yeah. you just say, yo, you stupid and, and, and the world going to deal with you. Right. I'm getting away from you. Got to get away from that yeah, energy. Like you, you Yo, energy is important, man. Everything. And, and energy that's been is came, everything. And that's been came like more of a thing of the, the mm-hmm. current. Like they talk more about energy and vibes mm-hmm. now. Like that's like a real thing now as opposed to how it was like growing up for me. Like we just went and acted. It didn't mm-hmm. matter about a vibe sometimes. You just went. You know what I mean? And uh, now like, a, like energy is so important. I think that's just... The maturation process, like as you get older, you mature, you you start to understand. Yeah, it was the going energy, on. What's and, going and on. was really and was really going on. You start to yeah. understand. You could you could get around niggas and be like, my one of my homies, he was like, yo, Swelly, he was like, yo, 
me and you met through so and so, but look how we locked in. He was like, yo, that's God. Mm -hmm. Our energy was just right, and we felt pause again. We like everything that we we was around each other. We just felt like yo, like damn, this shit is like homie, a good nigga, homie, a yeah. solid nigga. Da, 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 da. We you was doing, go with it. yeah, we was doing shit. He was like, yeah, I'm like, I'm gonna get you a trail. Yeah, I'm gonna get you a fat trail. Dude. I'm, yo, I'm gonna get you a yeah. I'm gonna get you with Richie Evans. I'm gonna get you with. And it was just our vibe was just it was just love. Yeah, it was just love. It was just two homies wanting to see each other win. Yo, love conquers all, bro. Yeah, facts, facts. Conquers all. Like yeah, when you facts. when you could you could show love to your peoples, and, and and show love to 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 another. Like it it, it creates almost a camaraderie instantly. Some chemistry, some you know what I mean. Mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. it, it allows you to 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 build. You can't build if you if there ain't no love there, bro. Yeah, that's right. Because real. that 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 secret um, hate that some people harbor. Yeah, you know what I mean. That they keep I just real deep. That. You know what I'm saying? They mm -hmm. pause. Like they 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 really keep it uh, to themselves, mm -hmm. and they don't want. You to know that they uh, feel that nah, way about nah, you. Yeah, I yeah, nah. No matter how many questions you ask, no matter mm -hmm. how many times you're around them, they mm -hmm. don't reveal that you gotta fight. Like it's almost like when it comes, it's on pause. Like mm -hmm. it's a, it's a whole different perspective of the person. Like yeah. you didn't even know this person. No this whole funny shit. I just, I just went through that. I just went through that with, like some homies I was close to at a point and. We all started in the same place, and I started to get bigger than everybody. And when I started to grow and, like, take off, every like, not everybody, but you started to sense and feel some mm -hmm. of the jealousy. Yeah. And it was like, if I'm your brother, my success is supposed to be your mm -hmm. success, mm -hmm. and your success is supposed to be my success. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I've never been a nigga that's selfish, so if I got the ball... Let me run with the ball and put the ball in the hoop, nigga, so I can mm -hmm. come down the court and steal a fucking ball yeah. and give it to you. Yeah, yeah. But these niggas ain't really get that and understand that. And sometimes niggas just want to be in your place. like. But at the end of the day, everybody feel like being a leader is cool. I didn't want to be a leader. I didn't wake up and want to be a leader and want to be this. That's just the... Role God gave me, it's and, a party. and 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 as and now I was cho you. I, I'm yo. E, I'm gonna tell you, keep it a hundred with you. I'm tired of fucking thinking for fifteen people. Yeah, nah, I felt that. I'm I tired of. That. I'm tired. Like I want to sit back and, and, and just have a nigga for a think for me one day right. and put get some money for me. Put me on to something. And do something for. I'm yeah, tired of that nah, shit, bro. I, I felt that. So 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 niggas think this role is so. I went when I so it might be twenty of us, right? And when two niggas is not getting along, I got to sit them down right. about some shit that I don't give a fuck about. Right. It don't even matter. But make sure it makes sense because my man feel like this and my other man feel like this. And we all homies and we got to figure this out because we can't be around each other harboring feelings and feeling like, yo, Mo, I, I, I love you, da, da, da. And niggas being around each other, feeling the way they feeling. I feel like that's the most sucker shit in the world. Nah, real shit. But... Nigga, I don't want to like. A man, a man got to be able to express themselves, yeah, bro. You got to be able to say yeah, what you got to say, bro. Fact. Fuck out of here about yeah. what anybody feel yeah, about it. Fact. It's about you got to get that emotion out, bro. Like a lot of people don't know how to deal with emotion, yeah, but bro. the first step is just to get it out, bro. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta express yourself one yeah, way or another. Fact. And sometimes what I was saying, like sometimes I just. Want to think for myself, bro. Right. But again, the role I got was the role I got. Right. And I'm going, if I'm here to be this, then I'm here to be this. If I'm here to have the board. And I, at the end of the day, it's like, I know that however this shit go, like God only give you the shoes you can fill. So if he feel like you're a soldier, you're a soldier. If he feel like you're a lieutenant, you're a lieutenant. Facts. If he feel like you are Whatever it is, he only give you the shoes he think you can fill. Now, right. it's up to you to find out how far you can take this shit. God can never give you anything you can't handle, bro. Exactly. So, it's up to you. So, I was telling my, I tell my right-hand man, it's Rico all the time. Yo, we can't be big dogs without having big dog problems. Mm -hmm. What I'm meaning is, 
if we call ourselves big dogs and we move, we gonna have big dog problems. You mm -hmm. gonna have real life problems that you gonna be like, what the fuck is this? Mm -hmm. Cause you wake up and everything good, and you turn around and some other shit happen. Mm -hmm. You might mm -hmm. have to drop your whole bag to go get your man. Yeah. But you can't call yourself a big dog if you ain't willing to do that. If you ain't gonna have the big dog problems. Right. Right. Nah, I mean that, that's just what it is, and I consider myself a big dog. So when the big dog problems come out. No, I, I kind of deal with it, I, and I kind of take that shit in stride. Exactly, I I just deal with it like, oh, all right, that's what's happening. I I I start I pay attention to what's going on. I make my little, not me, and I say, all right, this is how I'm gonna deal with that. Not me, and mm -hmm. I call the people that I think that's important to me, that have my best interest at heart, that's older than me, my OGs that been through more than me, right. my pops, my uncles, and some of my older homies, and I ask them how you feel about this. How you think I should deal with this? Right. Because I know they done been through more They've than been through me. all that shit. They done more. dealt with more shit than yeah. me. They done uh, I, I'm the reason why I I'm the way I am because of them. And yo, that's important. Like, why do you think like they don't respect the OGs no more? Like back in the day, like I don't know. For me, OGs was everything. Like you got the knowledge and the jewels from the from from the people yeah. that came before that experienced Facts. it. Facts. Like I feel like. It's got away from that. Like the OGs are not getting the respects, one, and the one, respect one, that they deserve. One you thing, know what I'm one saying? thing about um, my man one day he said he felt like when the drill wave came, and I fuck with some of the drill waves, so I don't mm -hmm. want to just put it on them. He said he felt yes. like everybody was just, and he was like, "Yo, bro, we from New York, we not from Chicago. We respect right. our OGs." But I was taught to respect my OGs because my biggest OG is my pops. Right. Right. And I love my pops to death. Big fact. So it's easy for me to respect my other OGs because I respect my dad. Yeah. That was your first OG. That was my first OG and my last. Yeah. So it's easy for me to respect so when other OGs come in my life and they giving me something similar that he give yeah. me. Yeah, and if it ain't that, then it, it, ain't, ain't, exactly. it ain't the one that you looking for. Exactly. I get what you're saying. So, so one of the bros Real that was older than me come in my life and he's trying to Push his muscle around this and I'm like, yo, you don't even know me. Because if you knew me the way that you thought you know me, you would know what pushing you what you thinking you pushing your muscle around is never gonna work. It's not gonna work. That shit gonna make me get aggressive. Yeah, and, yeah. It's and, gonna change the game. <laughs> it's yeah. never gonna work. Yeah. So if you really want me to do things a different way, you would come and be like, yo, listen, little bro, let me holler at you. And you would do things a different way. Like, yeah. not me, um, so going back to what I was saying. Anyways, it's easy for me to respect my OGs because I have an OG. Right. Not me. Right. And so when I and my OG is very smart. Right. And I have another OG, my uncle Pop. He's very smart. And they mm -hmm. very smart. They very sharp. They very and they been through so much. So it's like when somebody come of that similar stature, it's like it's easy for me to be like, nah, you know, Semi, what you talking about? Mm -hmm. Cause I done got the game from you got my, that game. My pops, my pops, and my uncle they sixty plus. Mm. He done did everything in this shit. I hear that. They still moving through. They still right. got a lot of love. Yeah, they, they last. Yeah, they survived. Yeah, cause a lot of motherfuckers that that be you in the ain't street don't, people don't ain't last that long. Niggas getting their head knocked off. Yeah, is he is he from the X too? Yeah, they from the X. That's crazy. Yeah, from, see, and yeah. you know the X was wild before yeah, we got yeah, it. Yeah, facts. They, they I mean, it's been wild. Yeah, they from wild. Yeah, they from the X, and they they they, 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 they they made it through all that. Yeah, yeah they some they some. They, they, my pops from Harlem. Man, yeah, so nah, I, shout I know, out to your pops, yeah, bro. bro. Hell yeah, bro. Yeah, that city life different when they had to grow back back in the day. That was a there's a whole different game. Without the camera phones and yeah, the cameras bro. out and motherfuckers was going missing for yeah, real back facts, in the day. Yeah, and New York, and they, and New York was, wasn't playing. Like, was that's why New York got that facts, And it was dead serious. Even like now, a lot of the times I tell young niggas, like, I feel like the older OGs, you leave them alone. Mm -hmm. And the younger, younger niggas, you leave them alone. Yeah. The older OGs, you leave them alone because they don't have time. They know they not physically fit, so they are not going to play with you. No. They gonna knock your head off, yeah, they and the younger, younger niggas they gonna knock your head off yeah, they just because they got something to prove. Yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they coming up. I remember being 17, 18, Any older nigga that played with me, I was yeah. It's it's action. Right <laughs> oh, away. oh, you oh, oh you, you think because sweet. I'm seventeen yeah. and you twenty five, you on? I bet. Yeah, 
Stole let's see. Shoes, let's, let's see how like. And mm-hmm. then, then I also knew that I had a pops that he, not me. Like yeah. if I get heading over my hills, yeah, it can go, it can go there. <laughs> yeah. So, 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 so I used to feel like, oh, I like my arts. Like, yeah, not nah, real shit. You understand what I'm saying? Like, and if who oh, I am, who I am. But at the end of the day, and so I feel like it's a gap. And I feel like with me being the age I am, I feel like mm-hmm. I'm able to bridge the gap because I have a lot of OGs. And I have a lot of younger homies. Mm-hmm. So in my younger homies, I'm able to teach them everything so I know. Pour in, you pour in that, that, that knowledge Exa- into exact- the younger homies. Uh, a lot of my younger homies, they come around me. They love me to death. You know why? Because if I'm not uplifting them, I don't say nothing to them. Mm-hmm. You know why I don't say nothing to them? Because I don't judge them. Because I was 17 at a point. Mm-hmm. So if I'm not uplifting them, yo, let's get in the studio. Yo, let's go get some money. I, the only thing I say to them is, Bonham, come outside. You got to be in school. You gotta, I'm not helping you. If you're not going to school, you're not doing certain shit. I'm not, I'm not even it's talking quiet. to you. It's quiet. It's quiet if you're not even... I'm not even talking to you yeah. when I come outside. But, but, oh, this is what you're doing? You, you, you could go, I don't care what you do. You could go to school. If you even want to sell drugs from... You can go to school from 9 to 3 and get some money later. Facts. I, so I'm not even talking to you. Bro. Like, But if you're a young nigga and I feel like your mind is semi-right... We, I'm going to help you and we're going to figure it out. A lot of my young homies rap now. I take them to the studio with me. I take them out with me. We go to clubs with mm-hmm. Ross and Jeter and all them. I, I just got them. Yeah, we going outside tonight. Yeah. Just to take them off the block for five yeah, yeah. hours. And they love that just shit. Just so they could see like, yo, this Something shit possible. Bro. Something different, Yeah, bro. this shit possible. Yo, I love bringing niggas out the hood. Yeah, facts. Just for a moment. Like, yeah, that's like one of, and that's the, when you say like being a boss, being, yeah, being in that position as a leader. You gotta you gotta do certain things that 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 separate you. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. And those moments of taking, you know, a young homie, young OG, mm-hmm. out the hood for a second to experience some shit that like mm-hmm. you get to experience. Yeah, for you know right. what I mean. It's like a, a a taste of something different and, and, outside of the hood, bro. And, 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 and who would I right. and who would I be if I don't do that for the younger homies when the older homies did it for me? Facts. Ross manager GDK, this is Rick Ross manager. Right. He did it for me. That's fire. Had me in Ross crib. Got me the features Shout with out to gunplay. GDK. You said GDK? GDK Shout got out to me GDK. the features with gunplay. Shout out big bro. Got gunplay. me the features with Richie gunplay. Evans. Got me tapped in with Yowda. Mm-hmm. He did he did all the shit for me. This is my and baby. Yowda's a beast. Too, yeah, this man. is my Shout Yowda. Out to Yowda too. That's the bro. This World is my too. baby, bro. And he but and it was something he told me one day, I said. I say, yo, I say, yo, Mo, you making a lot of shit happen for me, big bro. I appreciate you. I love you. He said, nigga, you making a lot of shit happen for yourself. I say, I said, what you mean? He said, I'm just putting you in these rooms. You making it happen. Yeah. They jacking you. Mm-hmm. You bop that. All I can yeah. do is put you in these rooms. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Meaning all I can do is take you to the water. Right. You finding out how to fit yeah, everything. how to drink, how <laughs> yeah. to supply it's, everybody it's else with exact, the same nah, water. Man, yeah. He was like, yo, bro, That's you, why. He was like, yo, bro, you doing this shit yourself, bro. Like, don't, like, yeah, I'm, I'm here. You I'm in position getter. to That's help all that matters, bro. But you doing this you shit. you a go-getter, yeah, bro. You know how to that. fucking go get it, bro. Yeah, That's that's that. That's important, One especially th- as a leader, because you said you just been well, tagged yeah, as a leader facts. just by default. You couldn't even help that. Yeah, it's just what it is, so you got to be able to do that, bro. One thing when I'm in these spots, I feel like, like, let's, let's, let's build, and I don't never feel like, see, I'll give a nigga a nigga number, I'll give a nigga a plug to that, because I don't never feel like me giving somebody something is taken taken away from me. Right, right. I know who I am, and I also know that I'm genuine. So with me being genuine, I feel like it's always going to work out for me. Mm-hmm. Because God is watching, and he like, nah, Swelly ain't doing this for this. Swelly mm-hmm. doing this for, mm-hmm. he trying to take care of his family. Yeah, he, he trying to trying hold it down. Da, 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 da. Swelly ain't doing this, though, so he could go fuck the bitch down the block. Right. He so ain't what? doing this so he can sh- show some money off and show that he ain't, he doing this because he trying to take care of his family, he trying to uplift the youth, he trying to exactly. it's certain things he trying to do. So I feel like with me being genuine, I'm always gonna win. So would you would you say that's what kind of led you into music? Like was it like yo I found I found a way? Like what what was what would be your what's your reason to even 
get into um this lane, the entertainment, to where you now around Ross and you're around this entity of the industry, like what got you into music in the first So place? so the thing that got me stuff? into music is that my mom, she was on drugs, so my pops took custody of me and my sister. So yeah. as a kid, I'm coming up, I was feeling a lot of things. And I was feeling like a lot of things that I couldn't express. Mm -hmm. So music became like therapy for me. Mm -hmm. So once now it became... Now preteen type yeah, shit we talking? Yeah, like pre, this is before like, the teenage years? Yeah, this is like... 12 years old. Copy, yeah, that's when I started. 12 years, that's 12 crazy. years old, 13 years old, I'm that's in the room. That's when I started, Jesus. And I'm, I and, I'm, and, I, and I'm going through things and I'm feeling things and I don't know how to talk about it. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how to talk about it. And and I started to write music and, again... Was it to a beat? Was it to a beat or just um, acapella writing? Just no, nah, it, it was to a beat. It was to okay, be like, copy. I would put beats on this and that third. But what copy. made it so, what made things, like I would just run through beats. Sure. What made it so good is that when I started to write music, my pops was like, yo, he was like, this if this song you really want to do, I was like, yeah. He was like, let's get it. Yo, so he was your first. He was like, let the and first I, person, and the, I, sufer, so, the first supporter. And first I love my pops so much that That's if he would have told me, to not do the music, then I would have probably been, been like, it would have been over because I yeah. valued his opinion. And he was like, let's get it. And then he sat me down one day and he said, yo, you want to know the best thing about telling the truth? I said, what? He said, nobody could use it against you. He said, so when you writing this music, tell the truth. Tell the truth. Tell about what you're going through, what you're feeling. I don't like what people you that speaking. don't that fabricate. Bro. Yeah, facts. So that, that was something. And I feel like sometimes That's it's dope. some. I, 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 with me, it doesn't bother me because I feel like music is entertainment sure. also, like a movie. You sure. might see fucking um, Steven Seagal kill. You kills, know he can't do that. Kill yeah. 10 people in a movie. Yeah. You know he's not doing that in not real life. Not, not real but shit. my whole thing is. But I feel like some of it's supposed to be realistic. Right. Like when they tell you, I this just is, gotta believe you. Yeah. When they tell you, like, Even when they tell you, you acting, this is, I gotta believe and you. And certain movies, they might say, they say this is based on a true story, but some of some of the things is fabricated. Right. They're gonna show you Pablo sure. Escobar movie. They're, they're gonna, gonna have juice some extra shit. They're gonna juice it for the for the for the. They're gonna juice some of the shit, but then they're gonna right. show you some of the shit. This is what he was really going through. You get what I'm saying? This is what he was. really... So my pops it was just telling me like, just talk about what you're really dealing with, yeah, what you're really bro. going through. So nah, that's bro. real shit, bro. Like, I feel like you build your longevity there. Yeah, if at I, that oh, yeah, point, facts. people understand like. You know who you are, and they I feel get like to that's, grow with you. I feel like that's my strongest point. My strongest point is me speaking about. I feel like every when I started to speak about what I was going through, mm -hmm. I never knew so much people was going through the shit I was going through. See what I mean? Everybody started to love me for that. It like, become full circle. Swelly could rap. Swelly da 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 da. But it when Swelly, first, when go, Swelly talking that pain, yeah, but that pain come full circle because it's like. It's universal. You're, you're doing you're doing that right, and you're expressing yourself, and then at the same time, the outcome is affecting somebody else that maybe want to express themselves, but then they seeing like Swelly doing that shit through this way, That's like there's ways, man. There's so many ways that you can express yourself, man, and people are doing it in ways that are are harmful to the culture and the community. That's you know right. what I'm saying and this music gift that you're given, you know what I'm saying? To be able to, to 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 put music or lyrics, I should say, to music and it flow to where masses are yeah. able to resonate. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a gift, bro. That's a gift given yeah, from I above, bro. That, bro. You know what I'm saying? That, so buddy. you gotta keep you gotta keep your foot on the pedal with that type of shit because mm -hmm. people follow mm -hmm. and the culture always got to get pushed forward. People don't understand how important the culture is. Like from when I really got into the culture to where it is now, yeah, you can't find a fucking commercial without hip hop influence. Yeah, that's right. Like, it's like it's a complete takeover with this culture. So if everyone really understands, like you know, we talked about. Uh, are people not being able to help each other? And there's a lot of, there's a disconnect there. Yeah. Hip hop connects yeah, yeah, all that that's shit. Real. You hear me? That's like it real. connects all that that's shit. Real. People that from different circles, different fucking states and cities, 
people can connect through this thing through music. You know, me and my entire team. Well, you know, for the most part, mm-hmm. and so it was family built when I was twelve. But now, it has grown to where it's at, and we all linked up in the five one eight up here, upstate. Mm-hmm. And the way we did that, we're all from all over the place, bro. I'm talking uh, from from me. I I represent Long Island and Harlem. I got Brooklyn in the building. We got Patterson, New Jersey, uh, uh, Kalamazoo, Michigan. We got. Um, all types of shit, bro. Like to where we all came together through this music. Yeah, through this music. Yeah, that's real. That's but real. then we built relationships beyond mm-hmm. that to mm-hmm. where, like, you know what I'm saying? We we are at each other's mm-hmm. most, you know, important moments, yeah, biggest fact. events. Mm-hmm. We we mm-hmm. we're able to grow, and I feel like hip hop can do that, bro. And and it divides too when people let their egos get in the way. Mm-hmm. But I feel like. The whole purpose of the of the culture is to continue to push that, that shit that, forward. That's real. Bro. That's real, Brody. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 and, real, and, Brody. And that's hard. That's, that's hard real, to do brother. when motherfuckers is only thinking of self. Like when I do this, bro. And um, shout out to Galaxy, man. Like he he really uh, put things into perspective because I was thinking it, but I never really looked at it that way. But he's like all about legacy shit. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. he's like, yo, if I'm going to do this, I'm doing music, right? And let's say nothing happens from it, I'm good with that because there's a legacy left for my for my my daughter, yeah, facts, my facts, family facts. to kind of like this is who he was facts. because mm-hmm. he is who he is mm-hmm. through his music. Yeah. That was his vo- his way of expression. So like me, I'm always I always been a private person, but you listen to my music, you'll know me. You know, and mm-hmm. that I feel like as an artist is that is our legacy, bro. Yeah, that that's we real. Leave. That's real. That's a fact. You know and, what I'm and even down to Biggie, Pac, mm-hmm. everybody that's gone these days. Yeah. You remember the pop smoke. Mm-hmm. Nipsey, Nipsey yeah. was one of my favorite. Yeah, Nipsey. Was you were, like, you remember? Rest in oh, peace. Man. Rest in you, peace. You know what I mean? Your facts. You remember them by their music and mm-hmm. the things they did and how they touched that legacy, people bro. and how they made people feel. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, and that's that's just what it is. I I, I remember um, Nipsey got a song called "Respect Your Passion," and he mm-hmm. was talking about it was like 2011. And I started getting heavy into music, and he was talking about how he lost everything, and he was getting it back. Mm-hmm. Like he said, "Burned it down, watch it all collect the ashes, build it back, respect your passion." Mm. Saying how he was losing every yeah. every verse, he talked about how he was losing everything, and how he was building it back, building it back up. From like the, nigga, from like, the ashes. like like nigga, like this shit, this shit went to flames, nigga. Yeah. Whoa. And nigga, I built this shit back. Like it made me, it made Sweet me sweep that shit up, all them ashes and, up. Yeah, it made start from ground. Fact, ground it made zero. me, it made me say like, yo, this shit serious. And I'm glad you mentioned, you know, Nipsey, man. Yeah, Shout out to favorite. Nipsey, man. R.I.P. R. Man, that's R. that's R. that's, that's a that's a, uh, a dangerous, um, you know. Game that you that, that that you that you deal with when you are such a prominent figure, but you're still, you know, in in in, in the hood and still yeah. touching people's souls and lives, yeah, like in facts. in the current in the physical. You know what I'm saying? Not just through your words, but you you there physically. Yeah, and it's so sad because. He lost his life in the hood. He gave everything yeah. back to him. Nah, big facts, What's bro. What's so scary is that the the place you give everything back to is the place that always want to hurt you the most. Right. He lost his life in the place he gave everything back to. Right. And that's, it's just fucked up, bro. Yeah. It's just, it's just fucked up at the end of the day. Like, um, and he wasn't the first and he wasn't the last. Nah. But it's fucked up that the places we come from when you make it out, it's so much envy and it's so much jealousy. I don't think it's cool, bro. So what do you what do you think about this? Like, I right, so with uh, when you think about like 
people that have that envy and that jealousy from where you're from. Do you think that has something to do with they can't see you outside of the person yeah. they saw you growing that, up like as? That got everything to do with that because y'all start in the same place. Right. And when they stay in the same place and you and, and you figure out how to get out that right. place. What they, makes you every, special, right? What makes you special and they start to figure why him, not me. Right. And then some people want to see you lose so bad they're willing to crash and burn to help you lose. Right, right. They go down with they, the shit. They, they willing to, I'm talking about, they willing to drown, die. Yeah, suicide bombers Throw their life hate, away bro. to see you lose. Suicide bombers with the hate, bro. And it's, it's, so, it's, and it's so tough because sometimes you have to even say, I'm going to get away from that. I'm going to get far away from that. Or some people don't have the money to get away from that. Yeah, so they eliminate the threat. So you have, and then you still lose. It's toxic. Or it just it's a it's a cycle. It's a so you hear cycle. what you just said? I said it's some cycle. some people could get away from that, and some people don't have. And you just said it, so they eliminate the threat. So you right. still lose. I still was very losing. fortunate that when I went through certain situations, I was able to say I'm I'm going over here, bro. Mm-hmm. No, I'm going over here. I'm going over here not for you, for myself. Facts. I'm just gonna go over here for myself because I I, I see. And because I had a, a pops that was so smart again, I see what you're trying to do. Right, you saw that shit a mile away. I see what I see what the you're trying to do. The writing's on the wall. Yeah, the writing me on the wall, bro. It's nah, there, bro. Nah, real shit. It's People there, don't bro. see it though because they're so caught up in the moment. Yeah, but if you first. take a second to exhale and, like, from from what I I gather, your pops prepared you well to know. How to see that shit, you know, a mile away, bro. Yeah, facts. Yeah, facts. bro. And my pops used to be like that. You know, he used to have me walk into a room and uh, walk right out of the room and tell him everything that I saw in the room. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Little shit like mm-hmm. that to just keep me sharp. You know That's what I mean? real. My pops would do the same shit. He'd send me in the store with mm-hmm. whatever type of money and come yeah. back and be like, yo, get this, get this, get this. Yeah. And when we come back, yeah, be like, it work. how much money you got? Yeah. Not me, and he was like, it's certain things he would tell me like, yo, when you go to school, if I don't tell you somebody's coming to pick you up before the day, you mm. don't leave with nobody. Nobody, it's quiet. You leave with me or your mother. Right. If and I don't tell you nobody else, I don't care who say you, yeah. I'm here for you. Real shit. If I don't tell you they coming to get you, right? then... Know what I mean? So yeah, I my kids don't take the bus. Man. Yeah, so yeah, I take them. Yeah, I take them to so, and from. Jeez, yeah, I ain't even gonna yeah, lie. That's like real, that's real. You know what I mean, I and that's just you know that's just a personal thing. Well, yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. once once I get bigger and everything, we talking drivers that are yeah, personal, facts. still close yeah, to the that's chest. Real, but that's like, real. I just don't. I don't trust mm-hmm. it, bro. Yeah, it's a wicked real. world we it's live a, in. Hey, you hear what you said? It's a real wicked world we live in. And I never thought like I used to think you're this nigga bugging that. And I got older and I started to see how nasty this shit is right. and how wicked this shit is. I said, damn, he was preparing me for everything that right. what was going on out here. And I and I thank him to death now. Right. Because I could see shit coming from him out of Some shit be like, I, I like now but certain times I'll go in the spot things, but I think we in there. It's now if I'm going in the spot, yo, I'm not going in there. For what? I know some shit about to happen. I know I'm not going in there. I'm 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 not, I'm not going I'm not even wasting my time to go in there to go in there like because I'm gonna I'm at the stage of my life where I gotta win, bro. We gonna right. prove what? Right. What we gonna prove here? Like like yeah, we proved everything we could prove already. You niggas know what I'm capable of. You niggas know who I, who I am. You niggas right. know I can rap. Right. You niggas know I know how to get some money. What we proving what here? What we proving? You niggas know I ain't no chump. Right. That's it. <laughs> Like will we prove the 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 biggest proving the biggest thing to prove now is showing you could take care of the ones around you. Right. Nothing else don't matter. I just said earlier on the ground, like outside of my family and my homies and my wifey, I don't give a fuck about what nobody think about me. My homies, my family, and my wifey. My homies because you're around me every day. Yeah. My family because you're around me every day. My wifey because you're around me every day. And mm-hmm. we love each other and we building. 
So if you feeling like I'm treating you bad or I'm not standing on business or I'm not doing certain things, then I need to self reflect. See, and that you know, building is the is the key to that because in all those places, all those realms of your life, you're building in all of those mm-hmm. with your homies, your family, and your, and your wifey. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Facts. You are building mm-hmm. in all those facets individually too. Facts, facts. It's not mm-hmm. necessarily co- collective. Mm-hmm. Collectively you are, but mm-hmm. they all got its own place yeah, in your building mm-hmm. aspect. So it's like, you know, we are the ar- architects of our life, bro. And we have so That's many real. influences. That's real. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, and and for us to have those architects of our life, right? I, like, we look at these buildings. We look at these monuments and all these bridges and everything like that. And we like, damn, look how them shits have been standing the test of time for however long. There's a music hall in Cahos that's been here mm-hmm. since, like, I want to say like the 1800s or mm-hmm. some crazy shit like mm-hmm. that. Like, there's buildings that stood the test of time. And it's like, yo, how does something like that work? How does yeah. that stand yeah, that real. long? You know yeah. how? The foundation was the right, foundation bro. Facts. Yeah, that's a the fact. foundation was built right. So you got to build. When you keep talking about building, you got to build your foundation and make sure that shit foundation right, Foundation everything. They tell me now, everything. Like, bro, you swear, I'd be like... Like, I'm not into rushing anything, bro. Even down to the music. Right. Even, look at, look, yeah. look even, what else? Even with the interview. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm, I'm, I got shit going on. You got shit going on. Facts. We trying to figure it out. We, Gonna nobody it taking work. it personal, this nope. and that, third. But even, I'm not into rushing any because the foundation mean everything. Yes. And when I build, and when I'm building something, I want the shit to feel like, Family, bro. Yeah. Family structure. I don't yeah. want to ever be doing anything and feeling like, yeah, I'm just it's a doing chore. this. I feel like a chore. Nah, That's where your bro. shout out to Tone. Tone always yeah, say that. Like, yeah, I don't bro. want this shit to feel like a chore. Yeah. Because chores always, you yeah, be like, yeah, bro. Or work. I'll you get up shit. and you go to work. Yeah. Like, like, and don't get me wrong. The part about being a man is doing a lot of the shit that you don't want to do. But my whole thing with that is that. If you doing something you love, it ain't gonna feel as bad. Right, right, right. It's gonna be parts you don't like. Facts. Everybody, everybody think the biggest part for me. Everybody think the studio is the part I love. I don't care for the studio part that much. I just not gotta come later music. Yeah. I don't care for the video part that much. Doing the same shit over and over. Da, da, da. I don't care for none. I care for the after effect. Like when I do everything and the listen to back, like, the feeling, and you listen back, and yeah. niggas be like, "Yo, Swelly, that it's shit the is feeling. crazy." It's the feeling, yeah, that's that. See, because that's the energy, and, and niggas be like, that's and the energy going back to each other, niggas be like, "Yo, Swelly, that shit," and I be like, "Yo, I did this, that, that. I came into Facts. this with this, uh, like the 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 A and B part." Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, ah. I be I, sometimes I get tired of doing that nah, shit, real bro. Shit. Even the clubs, when I gotta go in the club and rub shoulders, yeah. yo, bro, I don't like being in the club yeah. and shit. Like being I, in the scene. If, it, if it's my it's... birthday or something, or my homie birthday, we go in the club to bust it up and have some fun. And I know, but when I'm just in the club, sometimes I gotta just go to the club just to rub shoulders. Sure. It still be yeah. business. So it's still, so I'm just in the club. So I gotta wait. I I gotta go somewhere. Son, I got to rub shoulders with ain't there till 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm sitting in the car. I'm tired. Yeah. I'm leaving the spot. I want. I don't want to get up. But my manager, yo, you got to meet me here. Da, da, da. Yeah. Whatever it is, I don't be wanting to do that shit. Bro. Right, right. I'm keeping it tall. Nah, real shit. But when it's all said and done and after I built with certain niggas and this and that and the third and y'all become brothers and y'all got strong relationships and foundations and you'd be like, oh, that shit was worth it. It was worth it at but the But it'd be the work that you don't want to put in that you put in that right. makes everything else come full circle. And if you learn how to appreciate the journey, exactly. then that shit becomes exactly. all fun. Exactly. All of it. Even exactly. the hard shit, the, the, the tough shit you deal That's with, real, all bro. that bullshit. It becomes fun because you appreciate in the journey, bro. Yeah, it real. all makes sense that's real, in the bro. end. But why not make it make sense in the in the present? You yeah, know what I'm saying? Real. I love like the circle of how it all works. 
past, present, future. You know what I mean, you know, you know like really that timeline of the present, the past pre- uh, predicts the present, mm-hmm. the present predicts the future. So it's like how you really living. If you ain't really, you ain't really been like that, then that. Is gonna show in your true character who you are now. That's right. And then who you are now is gonna show who you gonna be years from now. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like it all it all ties in, man. And then who you are years from now is gonna all be a testament to that past, that way back past that we, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. may may be trying to overcome or, you know, from our hardships and Whatever the case may be, like it's always, it's always something, bro. Like, yeah, and, 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 and that's what I appreciate about the journey, bro. The journey is always the, 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 the I would say the, the Gatorade to the game. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, 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 like you, you out you there, you, said you, the you hustling. To the game. That's Yo, real. you out here hustling. You doing everything that you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But like. You get that, that that thing that's gonna quench your thirst because you 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 thirsty for this shit. You want this shit to yeah, pop. You yeah. want it to happen. Yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying, facts. but if you don't look at those little things in the journey, that that the, the shit you overcame, the shit that got you to the point you are where you well, are yeah, now, now you're not gonna quench that thirst, bro. You're gonna get discouraged. You're gonna lose sight of the goal, bro. That's, real, that's, that's real. why that yo that shit is the Gatorade to the game, bro. Real shit, man. Nah, that's real. That's but like, real, yo, yeah. let let the people know where to find you, bro. Like, that's real shit. They they all the people gotta know where to where, where to find Swelly, man, and and and, and to tune in. You know what I'm saying? I know you 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 keep it you keep it light, man, and 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 it's all for the people. But I, I want I want the people to know where to find you, Swelly. Oh, uh, so you can find me on on Instagram, Swelly underscore R I U. You go to YouTube, you find me on Swelly R I U. Everything damn near Swelly R.I.U. Spotify, <laughs> Apple Music, you find me everywhere at Swelly R.I.U. You know, we got running up the label. I need huh? y'all to tap in with my brothers. I need y'all to tap in with Cousin. I need y'all to tap yeah. in with Rico. And I need y'all to also tap Shout in. Shout out to Cousin and Rico. Yeah, those are my brothers. That's the R.I.U. Some shit. They the, those are the R.I.U. family. Those are my brothers. Cousin is my first cousin. That's my blood cousin. That's my dope, first cousin. Dope. Rico is my brother. We've been best friends since second grade, bro. That's fine. We've been best friends about 20 years, Day bro. Day one shit. That's my Sandbox blood shit. brother, bro. Yeah. Ain't nobody more closer to me in the world than him. Real shit. Nobody in this nobody in this world is more closer to me than him. That's my blood brother, bro. Shout out to Rico. You heard so shout out to Rico. Real shit. Shout, shout out, out to cousin. cousin. You heard Word. that's my heart. Cousin is my heart. And we just, you know, we trying to put this thing together and we trying to do something special and spectacular, bro. And that's just what it is. Um we support each other, we there for each other. Um we debate. Mm-hmm. We we like every other team, we debate. Sure. We argue, we we compete when it comes to music, but we're not competing with each other. Yeah. Sometimes cousin iron might sharpens iron. iron. Bro. Sometimes you know cousin might burn me on a verse. Sometimes yeah. I might burn him. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes we let Rico go by ourselves because he's walking and yeah, we like, yo, we not. That. Let him rock Sometimes that I'm going, it might be six months I'm in my bag and they know Oswelly's in a different type of bag right Facts. now. I don't know what he what mo he in, but we ain't fucking with him right now. We nah, ain't touching him. Yeah, let that he, nigga go. He's bugging like. But it's, it's, it's love, and those is my brothers. And, um, I love that. Not me, and I just... And, you know, shout out to my other brothers, like Gunplay and Yao. Yeah. And they show me so much love, and Richie Evans, and... Yeah, not me, a, them, a lot of the shit. bros that had the ball and had the situation, and, and they just said Brillo and um, Keen Streets and Dub Aura, like... Yeah. Yeah. Dub Aura, him and Dave East is real close. And Brillo is down with Rough Riders. Mm. Brillo is um he Rough Riders family. He's close with Shout D. Out and, to Rough Riders. And I got Sheik. a lot of got a lot of ties with Rough yeah, Riders. Yeah, Sheik and a Brillo, Brillo one of the ones. And um, you know, gunplay, gun mm-hmm, uh, gunplay mm-hmm. and Ross was best friends since they was kids and That's things fine. like that. Um Day one shit. Yeah, nah, I mean, this no, shit is all that. like family, bro. This yeah. shit is all like this shit is all like family ties for the most part, bro. Um, that's good, bro. And, and I feel like it's good because when we be doing this shit, this shit don't like. And that's what you wanted. You said, yeah, you know what I mean, fact. you wanted it all to feel like a family feel. So now you in a situation 
where that's that's the thing too. Yeah, you know what I'm facts. saying? That's that's it's like all it's all everybody on the, got the same mindset. Facts, facts. You know, it's all the love for the you know what I mean and, the circles. And, and some of them that's older, they want to see their younger bros win. Like gunplay, he got Bible on the dash. He got he done put his work in. He's one of the ones he solidified. Sure, y'all the he Hell got yeah. Vegas in his back pocket. I hear that. Richie got. Can't knock the hustle out now with Ross. He got mm. that shit in his back pocket. Like mm. they solidify, but they want to see their baby bros win. And it's like that. we fuck with Swelly and anything that come with him, mm. we, we fuck with you too. Cause That's you dope. with him. So if Swelly is solid, nigga, we gonna get you the chance to mm-hmm. Show me you, I'm, you a solid nigga too, yeah. man. And that that, that says a lot I mean? about you. Yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? Because you standing on who you are and standing yeah, on facts. business, bro. Yeah, facts. And that's what it's all about, bro. That's what we got to do, man, is these kings and pillars of our brands. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Real, our bro. brands, our people, like, they, they, they rely on us to continue to, to push forward, bro. And, and sticking together is the key. Yeah. A lot of the times is that... Everybody don't want to stick together, but sticking together is the key. Yeah. You see how me and you eat? I came here, we built Facts. some other shit. We just built. We talking for a month and a half before Facts. we get to, and we just building. But sticking together is the key. That's like it. that shit is very important. Can't and I feel like we gotta stick together, bro, in order no, for this shit. shit to go how it's supposed to go. Like, like you, you, like it's a right to get. It's a right to get jealous sometimes right because jealousy is always not a bad thing but you got to understand that jealousy is just an emotion yeah so you could see a man one day guys some shit all the bitches could be on his body da, da, da. you can know you just like that nigga but it might just be his day yeah you understand what i'm saying yeah. it might just be his day but and, and jealousy is just emotion you know when you yeah, win is when you check yourself yeah, you be like yeah. nigga i'm fucking what am like, I doing? What, I'm, what am I doing? Yeah, I'm tripping. Everybody don't know that niggas lie and tell you that. Like, that's but make sure you understand that that shit is just a emotion. Yeah, you gotta check that. You check like the the, the real ones check themselves, yeah. bro. Yeah. For me, my man got the ball. Let him get the ball. Let him yeah. do what he he'll gotta do. do. He gotta and do. some niggas don't feel no jealousy. I never been a nigga that felt jealousy. And if the ball don't come your way, go get it. Exactly. Bro. And, and, go get the and, rock, and, bro. and facts. And and if the ball don't come your way and a nigga got the ball and he don't give it to you, it might be two reasons why he don't give it to you. It might be three reasons why he don't give it to you. Let me say this. Number one, he might feel like you ain't ready for it. Number two, he might feel like you don't deserve it. Mm-hmm. Number three, he might feel like you ain't work as hard as him. Right. Because sometimes you 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 might work this amount of time to get the ball, and then you give a nigga the ball, and he feel like, oh, this shit just came too easy. He right. don't really care as much as you. You got to check a box. He don't you really gotta check something. He don't really care as much. Boxes. He don't really care as much as you, right, because... I done, it doesn't happen to me. Right. I done had the board and gave niggas the board and niggas just do whatever. Fumble. F- at and, the goal and, line. And, but niggas is fucking up relationships and all that. Anything. At the goal like, line, Like trying geez. to be outsmart niggas and doing And it's like, yo, bro, what the fuck is you doing? You call they play, bro. Yeah, if, hand if, that if, shit off and sit, that bitch If you just sit line. right here and be genuine, you going to win. Yeah. Nigga going to fuck with you. But you right. trying to backdoor me. To get next to a nigga before me, uh, who now. who just gonna call me and be like your your man yeah, is your a man's sucker on some sucker shit? Yeah, that's how that shit go, bro. Come on, yo, bro. man, I done had to trim a lot of fat, man. The whole squad yeah, had to bro. trim a lot of fat because of that bullshit, bro. Yeah, but you bro. know what? Like you 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 stand tall, you 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 rain through. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like bro. A, after the rain, you know when that shit rains, it pours. But there's sunshine after that motherfucker, that's, bro. That's a fact. That's a fact. You know I'm saying there's sunshine after that motherfucker. It ain't going to rain forever, bro. You know what yeah, I'm that's saying? a fact. But yeah. you know, you know, yeah, I appreciate you, man. Nah, real shit, bro. Yeah. Like, I appreciate you, G's. Mm-hmm. And you always welcome to the fucking show, Nah, you know man. I'm going to be back um, yeah, once Tunnel Vision 2 drop. Yeah. We're going to come in. When that's gonna, coming, you got a date or not yet? Top of the top year. Top of the year. So it's hey. going to be, um, if it's not January, February. Copy. If it's not January... February, but you know, cause I'm going to Phoenix in January. Hey, with Richie, you open up with Kevin Gates it's about and to be Richie. A and all. Hell of a fucking game, um, bro. To so start but, off the 24th. Yeah, man. but so if it's not January, February, bro. But when I, I'm coming back 
So if, once the tape done, I'm gonna come back like three weeks before. We are gonna get on this promo run. Copy. We gonna go. Copy. We gonna go to Power 105. We gonna go to hey. Hot Now. We gonna come up here. Hey. We gonna go. We gonna go. We just gonna get on this promo run. Get right. Go, put posters up. Yeah. Take some pictures with some merch. We gonna As do you this. Should. We gonna do this shit the right way, Yo, bro. Yeah, that's it, bro. That's the only way. The right mm-hmm. way is the only way, bro. That's it. Do Yo, shit man. Yo, happy for you, man. I can't wait to see it. Nah. I want to see y'all three hit the scene too, yeah, man. Yeah, like facts. the way y'all, the, the, from what I've heard and what I've seen, bro. Y'all got, y'all got. Only the one vision. you ain't meet yet was cousin. Yeah, yeah. So we gonna. I ain't meet cousin. Yeah, yet, cousin, yeah. cousin to be up here soon. Copy. And you feel me? Have yeah, a slide, yeah. bro. You know the vibes, Hell bro. Yeah. We here, bro. I appreciate you. I appreciate Tone. Yeah. Tone, Tone Shout out to Tone. Be, huh? In fact, Tone be Tone be getting me right. He's recording today. <laughs> like, yeah, Tone, that shit sound good. Yeah. He's like, yeah, Tone, I'm glad you fucking with it. We work. working, man. We so, working, man. And uh, yeah, man, we, we, we always here, bro. And uh, shit is always going to be... Uh, a family vibe and a family feel because that is what what builds, man. That foundation is when you can look to your your, your neighbor, your peoples, your friends, and otherwise. You'd be like, oh, you know what? This dude ain't got no hate in his heart that's about what I'm doing. He actually doing his own thing. Yeah, that's and a fact. we could both appreciate what we doing from, from afar or from close. That's Either a way, fact. it's an appreciation. Got to appreciate the journey, y'all. That's what it's yeah, that's all a fact. about. Yo, before we get out of here, let's play yeah. one of these joints. Yeah, got let's you. Which one this let's, 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 let's go to, uh, let's play the waiting for you shit. Got you. Where that's at? Is it's it on, it's on the label joint? Run it up. Nah, nah, it's on, uh, that's just one of the joints I just recorded. Oh, you just Tom? recorded something. Yeah, yeah got you. see if Tom can play that you. joint. We're going to go to the email. I yeah, got you right play the, Let's play the waiting for you. Let's play the waiting for you joint before we get out of here. You heard it, y'all want niggas to feel. I want niggas to feel what's going on, you know what I mean? I had a good day, too, E, you good, heard? man, that's good. I love to hear that type of shit. Word. You got to stack them, though. That's it's not fact. about just having a good day. You got to stack, stack the good that's days. That's real. Bro. I never heard that, but that's real. Yeah, stack those good nah, days, bro. that's real, bro. You heard you say it's not about just having a good day. You got to stack them. Got to stack them shits, bro. Word. Because, yo, a good day would be like, yo, I've had some of the best days in my life, bro. And then that shit just go to shit the next yeah, day, facts. bro. That's just fact. some news could, like, throw the shit off. That's so if fact. you can learn how to stack them good days, bro, then you, you like, I, I, I'm a big consistency mm-hmm. person. Like, I feel like consistency word, shows bro. the real character mm-hmm. of, a, of a person. Like, if you see someone be this way mm-hmm. consistent, then that's who they are. That's who they are. You Facts. I'm, I'm you with you. Trust that. You I'm gotta with trust you. that. I'm with you. Let's play that. Let's play that. Uh, that wait, f- that wait, wait for you. Wait for when you. waiting for you. You sent it? Yeah, it's, it's in there because I see oh, all the... I see sometimes. He said. Oh, yeah, right here, right here. I see it right there. It's there, waiting there, for you there, right there. there. It's on the next shit waiting for you. Yeah, you sent it. Man. You got the shit lit yeah, in here yeah, too. Yeah, I appreciate you, bro. That's that's yeah. the vibes, man. We just trying to keep it keep it comfy, you heard? Yeah, we want everybody right. to feel like you know what I mean, they like like they're at home because that's what we wanna provide, bro. We're just a at yeah, home. Just gotta feel, go to the waiting for you shit. I know, that shit I don't know why I saying. <laughs> It had a delivery issue. Oh no, no! I think when Tone was sending it, it was saying the file was too big. So maybe it's a different one. So you might have to click, see that right there, say waiting for you. Mm. Well, I think when Tone was saying sending it, it was saying the file. Yeah. R.I.P. to the fallen soldiers. Rest in peace, Shaw Glitz. Rest in peace, Shaw Glitz. Rest in peace, Venom. Rest in peace, Venom, man. Rest in peace, BFG. Rest in peace, BFG. Yeah. My brothers, I love y'all, I miss y'all, and I appreciate y'all. Yeah. Ain't put no flowers on your grave, they ain't ride yet. About to do this shit big like a 5X. 
I wish heaven had a phone hit my nine X. I'm just working on a better me. I pray to child and I go take care of legacy. And she called me Uncle Swelly. Pain in his daughter, I the foot they gon' tell me. Mandatory pain. Follow bro, like Tyson. Gotta move swift, can't get caught in no indictments. Wake up, this can't be life. We keep fighting. Fire out that ladder, we gon' ice him. War time, who gon' shoot for you? Almost lost myself being too loyal. I'ma lose myself for a bitch. I'ma lose myself here trying to get rich. Uh, when I'm focused again, and she we back towing again. You know we towing again. Sometimes we lost, made us know how to win. Sometimes we lost, made us know how to win. Made us know how to win. Could the Uber, they wouldn't hit me a lift. Then I tore the house down. Who gon' hit me a brick? Who gon' help me a Starving, they wouldn't hit me some chips for more time. They hit me a brick. I see my own goal, most dark niggas have step. Gotta do it myself, cause I ain't got the cash yet. The money more important, this niggas gon' ride later. Well, we set the clay, laugh now, crop later. The pink ghost and shit like Annihilator. My yellow bone, my bitch like Tanah Layton. Shites, we just can't get this shit, and we can't get around. Put some stars in the roof, cause we win us now. No shites, we win us now. That's that yeah, heat, yo. Yeah, Sheesh. Yeah, you know what's going on. Yeah, man. I already know the vibes, Brody. I already know the vibes. But yeah, man, yo, stay tuned. Swelly is fucking on fire right now. He about to start 24 off on his Mamba mentality TV shit. TV like, 2 coming. Yeah. Tunnel Vision 2 is yeah, coming. Yeah. I got Yowda. Huh? I got Richie Evans. Huh? I got Gunplay. Huh? I got Dub Aura. Huh? I got Key Streets. Talk that shit. I got Swag Millie. Yeah. I got AIG. Oh, shit. This shit is... I got Rico Cousin. This shit oh, is about shit. to get crazy. That's how you got to do it, man. Dom like, the God. Sam huh? Shabazz, you know him, huh? the baby face Ray got a million records. This thing hitting all platforms this, for the people. Everything, all I platforms, bro. I Tom. love that. Gotta tune in, man. Yo, Swelly appreciate is on you, fire, man. I appreciate you, man, for pulling up. And you always welcome you family here to the Untouched yeah. motherfucking Shout studios. Shout out to Untouched Studios. When you touch Albany, make sure you get with Untouched Studios. When you touch Albany, bro, you Facts, heard? Get bro. with Untouched Studios, get with E, get with Tone, put this shit together. Facts. These is the niggas moving in Albany. Yes, Lord. Get with them, bro. Talk I don't care shit. about none else that's going on. Yeah. These is the niggas moving in Albany, you heard? And when all the bros get with me up here, we coming to Untouched, bro, because this shit is real family orientated. These is the bros. They want to see you do good. And they doing good in the process. Respect, respect, man. I appreciate that, man. And we out.